Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this blue smoky eye, which I created using the Stacey Marie palette. So if you want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I've just applied some concealer to my lid, just really quickly carving out the brows with this concealer. By the way guys, I know I'm looking all types of crazy right now, um, but I just figured it'd be so much quicker if I just showed you one eye. So I'm just using my collection concealer for this. Um, you could totally use um, like an eye primer. The P. Louise base is supposed to be amazing for this. I still haven't tried that because I don't think it's cruelty free. If you know of any cruelty free alternatives to the P. Louise base, let me know down below guys. But you wanna make sure to set that concealer. So I'm just taking the Makeup Revolution Translucent Press Powder. And I'm just setting that ready for the eyeshadow. So this is rather exciting actually guys. I'm gonna take my Carnival palette by Stacey Marie MUA. This palette is absolutely amazing. Oh, the sun would come out now, wouldn't it? This palette is absolutely amazing. Obviously I'm gonna be taking a mixture of these shades here. Picking up the shade Sky on my MAC 224 blending brush. This is the main shade that we'll be using today. I don't know why, I just really felt like working with some blues today. I think I was inspired by my hoodie actually. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed already, this is a very dramatic makeup look. Which is why I'm pulling that shade all the way into the inner corner. And I've also taken that all the way up to the brow. Obviously leaving a small gap like we have on this side. Um, really blending that out. Then going in with the shade Recharge. And I'm also going to be working that into the crease, but just slightly lower down than the sky shade that we previously used. So I'm literally blending that in circular motions into the crease. Going back in with sky, I'm using that to diffuse the recharge shade. I'm just cleaning away any fallout as we're going along. And then I'm going to take the tiniest amount of this mint shade here and I'm just applying that above sky. So just to blend that into the brow bone a little bit more. I'm then taking my Real Techniques 200 brush and I'm picking up the shade Mood which is like this navy shade. Always tapping off the excess. And I'm just packing that onto the outer V. So I'm not blending it just yet. Just packing it on in that outer corner. Just to get the most colour payoff. And then slowly start patting that upwards into the crease. Going back in with my 224. And then I'm going to start blending that out. And the next thing we're going to do is cut the crease. So I'm going back in with my concealer. Start by packing on the concealer to the inner third, like that. And then just start creating that cut crease. Always best to do this with a rounded brush, guys. as you can see the concealer starts to blend with those blue shades and it ends up looking a lovely pale shade of blue so I've just taken it from the inner corner to about three quarters of the way over the lid and then to set that I'm going to take breezy which is this lovely blue shimmer shade and I'm just packing that on top of the concealer And then obviously what you want to do after that is blend that shimmer shade seamlessly into this darker shade. So you want it blending really nice from inner corner to outer corner. So to do that we're going to take the shade Mood again. And we're kind of pulling this in downwards. So diagonally into the centre of the lid. So 
so it looks something like that back in with the shade recharge so this shade is kind of acting as the transition between the shimmer shade and the darker blue I actually think this eye is looking and blending so much better than this eye so so we'll just say this eye was the trial eye <laughs> and then with a really light hand start blending little shades together. Underneath my brow and on my inner corner I'm going to be taking the shade Mooney. And then on my waterline I'm going to be taking the Kiko Smart Eye Pencil in the shade 813. It's this lovely blue shade. And for lashes, I applied the Baby Doll Silk Lashes in the style 747. I've already got mascara on from earlier, but you could apply a coat of mascara first. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away any fallout. Let's quickly do this face. So, primer is going to be the Obsession Makeup Pore Reducing Primer. Been loving this one lately. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 290. I'm blending that in with my Morphe brush. I've got a lot of redness on my face today. Using my collection Last in Perfection to conceal. Same as earlier. I'm gonna go quite heavy with my cream products today. We want a full coverage look. To cream contour, I'm taking the PS Rich Espresso um, Contour Stick. Always blend my cream contour with a brush first and then I go back in afterwards with my beauty blender. If you're having a hard time blending out your contour this stuff is amazing, it's the Urban Decay Quick Fix Complexion Spray. Take in the Makeup Revolution Powder again, and I'm using this to bake. I'm literally hitting pan on this already guys. And I've only had it since Christmas, so that proves how much I've used it. And whilst that's setting into the skin, I'm going to bronze up my face taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And I'm just brushing away that baking powder. Blusher is Primark Rose. Add in a bit more blusher than usual today. And then to highlight, I'm taking Ofra Rodeo Drive. Oh, look at that. Also take this on my forehead. Go in back in with that sky shade from the palette. Just being extra careful as you don't want any fallout at this point. A 
also going back in with Recharge, which was the darker shade. My camera typically literally just died right at the end there, guys. But on my lips, I just applied the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Corset. Just applied a little bit of concealer on the middle of the lips to create that ombre effect. I also set my face using the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. And I applied a coat of lashes to... Coat of lashes? <laughs> a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and until the next video i'll see you all really soon